Hilton Head Island School for the Creative Arts is ending the school year in an exciting way. The school organized its first ever egg drop challenge. The Hilton Head Island Fire Rescue dropped the student made egg containers from a truck 50 feet up in the air. When I saw her fall down, I thought the egg was going to crack, but it didn't. I thought we were not going to make it because it was so high. In their STEAM lab, students use the engineering and design process to plan out and build their egg containers using recycled materials donated by families. The projects could be no larger than a shoebox in size, and no parachutes or helium balloons were allowed. We had a shoebox. Since we couldn't make a parachute, we got a big cardboard box and we taped it to the top so it like fluttered down. And we put bubble wrap in the inside and a pool noodle, and it worked. We put sponges around it and we grab a little box for it cannot wiggle because then it's kind of broke. And then we put a lot of tissues and then we put a sponge over the egg. We used sponges for the sides to with the rope to keep the egg in safe position. Then we added bubble paper with some cut up pool noodles. The egg drop really challenges the students' science and engineering skills. I really wanted to understand force, gravity, drag, velocity, speed, obviously, and also kinetic and potential energy and engineering aspect and designing something that could fall and fall daintily or gracefully, but yet not crash with a lot of force. The fire department was more than happy to assist the students as they tested out their rig projects. Just seeing their excitement, their enthusiasm, and, and what they've done and, and seeing some success. That's what we want to see. So good for their confidence and, and they're having a little bit of fun at the same time. Students in second and fourth grade classes took part in the egg drop hey, challenge. At Hilton Head Island School for the Creative Arts, Ron Lopes, Beaufort County School District.